Here with Mark, it is the first interview of Big Brother Canada Season 5. Are you surprised you're sitting with me here? Do you know what I am? Um, I really thought I was going to go uh, take this one home for Edmonton and uh, grab BB Can 5 champion, but <laughs> it uh, didn't turn out the way that I planned and uh, really bummed out, but what can you do? You know, a male player has never gone home first on Big Brother Canada. You are the first. Do you sort of wear it as a badge of honor? Uh, do you know what? Uh, I guess uh, I guess I could take it as a compliment, it, but uh, it really does suck. Uh, a bit of a bitter taste in the mouth. Uh, you know, you never want to be the first one voted out. Uh, you want to try to do as best as you can, but um, do you know what? This, this just wasn't my year, I guess. This episode, it reminded me a lot of like season one. You know, you had like Suzette, sort of like an older female. She nominated two young players in Emmett and Tom, mm -hmm. and it didn't work out for her so well. Yeah. It did work out for Karen. Um, why do you think she targeted you, and why was she successful where Suzette wasn't? Yeah, she, uh, she really wanted to target, uh, she made it known that she wanted to target big, uh, strong physical players. Um, I think she played really smart in the fact that she, if she really wanted to make it known, she would have ta attacked more of the veterans, but she kept it a little bit safe and attacked one of the, the two newer, uh, newer uh, house guests. So um, it just so happened that uh, Bruno did an amazing job winning the POV, so it, it gave us the, didn't give us the chance to take uh, either Greek and I off the block. Um, and I know that Karen was gunning for me the entire time, and I made it know that I was going for her as well. So do you she played a heck of, heck of a week, and um, yeah, and she wanted me out, and she succeeded. Why did she want you out? Uh, do you know what? I think she really saw me as a strong uh, physical threat. Um, she kind of made it known that she really wanted to go after Dimitri earlier on, but uh, she quickly turned her sights onto me. Uh, we really didn't communicate a lot in the house. We just didn't really uh, see each other as allies, and I think she, she was definitely really pushing to get me out. What was your reaction like when you saw all these returning players come back, and how did that affect your game? Oh, it was it was really exciting to see people that you watched on prior seasons. Um, do you know what's a little intimidating too? Uh, I you could definitely tell that a lot of the newer house guests um, were kind of a little bit starstruck. They really didn't want to uh, vote out, you know, the people that that they watched on earlier seasons. So I I feel like the the veterans almost had a little bit of an advantage on the first week. And uh, do you know what? We'll have to see if that continues on. Speaking of that advantage, do you feel like they have an advantage? You know, they all know each other outside of the house. You guys are meeting for the first time. Is that an advantage? Do you know what? Uh, I kind of think it, it is a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, one or even two veterans in the finals. Um, but do you know what? They're they're playing with uh, some of the newbies. They're doing really well. Uh, they're. I, I kind of feel like the new the newer house guests are almost kind of seeing where the veterans are going to vote and then kind of vote with them. Um, it'll be interesting to see if uh, if one of the newer house guests will really take charge and try to get rid of uh, one of the veterans but uh, right now uh, I really don't see it. Split votes on the first vote are so rare I, I can only count on like one hand how many have happened before are you surprised like why did it go that way usually it's just like you know a 9-1 sweep. Yeah do you know what that's what it was looking like uh, this season too uh, I remember that day getting up I, I tried my best to rally and get some votes but um, pretty much everyone was telling me, you know what, we're going with the house, and and you know what, I was kind of like defeated. I was ready to go home. I was saying my goodbyes, but um, uh, there was a little, there's a little bit of tension between uh, Cass and Ika, and you know what, I kind of, I accidentally really put a spike in between that, and do you know what, that really put a shockwave through the whole house. Um, it really showed everyone's true colors on who they wanted to vote for and not just going with the house. And it sh came to show that like I really had a chance. Some people really wanted me in the game and um, going into the final, I I had no idea if I was gonna if I was gonna stay or if I was gonna go. It was all up in the air. I didn't know who was gonna vote for me. It was it was a lot of emotions and I, w I was so close, but it just wasn't enough. You know, uh, when I saw you, I'm like, this guy's gonna get into a showman's. You know, I'm just waiting like, who, which girl is it going to be? Was that the strategy going in? Uh, do you know what? It really wasn't. It, I was I was definitely open to it. If there was a girl that we I seemed to connect really well, then like it is what it is, and we were going to see what happened. But uh, do you know what? Being out first week, I really didn't get to have that really strong connection with anyone. Um, but going down the line, there were definitely uh, uh, maybe a girl or two that kind of caught my eye. So yeah. Now, speaking of girls that caught your eye, I'm really interested in exploring your relationship with Cindy. You know, like I thought you and Cindy were tight, but then she voted against you. So are you surprised by that? Can you just explain that relationship for me? Yeah. Do you know what? Uh, 
she's a great girl, but it, if if she wants something, she will definitely do everything to get it. I was, it was a little intimidating for me. I'm not gonna lie, she scared me. It scared the crap out of me a little bit. But um, yeah, I was very surprised surprised that uh, she voted me out. I kind of had a feeling that it was gonna be like her prior season where she like hooked up with someone and then voted voted him out. So um, I definitely want to stay clear. I didn't really have a lot of a uh, lot of. Um, personal feelings so I, I didn't want to really like fake any relationships so yeah uh, which returning player is playing the best game do you know what uh, I think Kevin's playing a really smart game right now he's uh, he's making a lot of uh, really good allies with a lot of the men um, a lot of the guys can really uh, have really noticed that the girls are kind of taking charge right now they're really kind of owning this game um, but he he's done really well making a lot of alleys with the guys, but also staying under the radar and uh, keeping uh, keeping some close eyes on a lot of the girls too. I can I can definitely see Kevin going really far in this game. And what about the new players? Like who's playing the best game? Do you know what? I, I would have to say Dre. Um, just from uh, looking around the house, Dre has really played a very smart secret game. Um, like uh, pairing up with Will, kind of like the French Connection, I think we we were starting to call it. Um, they're really tight as well as uh, Dre and um, and Gary. They uh, they seem to be getting really close too. Um, do you know Dre is a very smart girl, and I can see her going really far as well. What alliances were you in before you left? Um, do you want know uh, Kevin and I? I think it was day two. We we really felt that we were on the same page on a lot of things. We had a lot in common, so. Um, we wanted to go really far in the game as well. Um, I really wanted a boys alliance just because I did notice that a lot of the girls are getting very comfortable with each other and um, they almost had the favor vote. So um, I really tried to get a boys connection going and we did kind of have an alliance getting started. So, um, and if we could have brought a couple girls over, it would have been perfect. So definitely the guys alliance, but Kevin and I, we, we definitely had a lot. Uh, we definitely want to go far. What was the turning point for you in the game? Uh, the turning point, I, do you want, I'd have to probably say Karen, you know, just because we really didn't have um, that connection she was really gunning for me and um, everyone was voting with the house but no one really knew who the house was that was going after so um, like I said I was almost out just because of one person saying the house wants you out and everyone was just gonna follow suit um, I was so close to getting those votes by turning everything around but it, I, it just wasn't good enough what was the best part about being on Big Brother Canada Oh man, just the overall experience. Uh, all the people that I got to meet, I always wanted to play the challenges. That was so much fun. And do you know what? Just just getting to meet Gary. Gary is an absolute character in the house. He, just his overall antics and just being himself, everyone, it put a smile on everyone's face. Even if he didn't try to make people laugh, he, he did. And um, we, we really did connect and we had a lot in common. So it, it'd be cool to see what he's like outside the house as well. And finally, Mark, what's next for you? Uh, do you know what? Probably uh, just go back home. Uh, it'll be great to see friends and family again, kind of talk about the experience and uh, probably just go back to Barting and who knows, I'd love to get some more traveling in. So, yeah. Amazing. Mark, thank you so much. Yep, we'll see you on finale night. Yeah, thanks.